name's Jo and I'm hot. <laughs> so today we're talking about summer complexion products. Now, I'm not menopausal yet, but I have been very hot and sweaty in the um, elevated temperatures. I think that London as a city does not do well in anything over 23 or 24 degrees. So having to travel on the tube when it's 30, 31 outside is not fun. And as much as I love makeup, um, a lot of the products that I would use in uh, autumn, winter and spring just don't work for me at this time of year. So I really had to view the complexion products that I've been using and I've had four on rotation with interesting and varied results. I'm gonna to talk to you about them today. The Smashbox CC Cream in the shade Dark. I think I've said it previously on a video, I think on the cover effects um, video that this was a product that I had to grow to learn and understand um, because obviously it's not my complexion shade. So you apply it and it takes a couple of minutes to settle in the skin and then it does kind of settle down. It doesn't give any kind of great coverage. Um, I've been using it with my cover effects drop but it is quite light on the skin um, and for just kind of evening things out a little bit it's quite good um, and I sometimes put this on and then just do a bit of spot concealing depending on what the weather's doing and what my skin's like. So CC cream from Smashbox has SPF 30 which is great. As soon as you add custom cover drops to it you're negating the efficacy of the SPF um, so it's a balance. I wear ultra sun underneath anyway so as far as I'm concerned it's fine but if you're looking at the CC cream for SPF don't add custom cover drops. Um, considering that it has got SPF 30 it's not chalky on the skin which is great um, and it retails for £29 so it's not cheap um, but I like it I don't love it yeah it's okay NYX tinted moisturizer it's quite an orange undertone compared to the Smashbox um, and generally that wouldn't work but we are in the summer months and I like to look glowy and bronzy and dewy but not look sweaty so actually it's worked quite well um, I didn't think this colour would work for me with a touch of custom cover drops or just with some powder over the top it actually works quite well if I'm having a good skin day so this is a surprising one the NYX retails at £10 and it doesn't have SPF so for me it's great because I'm wearing my ultra sun underneath um, it's definitely one to look for and it's great that they've got a shade that is close to my complexion although it's quite bronzy orangey but yeah I like it it's pretty good the Makeup Revolution Ultra Base BB Foundation Ultra Base Face Base BB Foundation It's a long title for a foundation For me it's not really a foundation, the coverage is very light um, it's, a, it's a heavier texture than the other two um, Much heavier than the Tinted Moisturiser but still light compared to other foundation products that I've got um, For me it doesn't give full coverage at all you can see again there's quite a difference in shade so this is another product that I would add a drop of custom cover drops a three pound product so I am more than prepared to work with it to make it work it's a paraffin um, mineral oil heavy product as well but like I say for three pounds I'm really not fussed and I do good skincare underneath I've got my ultra sun so I am not really worried um, the paraffin and the mineral oil they don't make me break out but I am very very hardcore with my cleansing routine um i've posted my evening cleansing routine up already um so another one that is okay it's not great it's good for this time of year it's not the best coverage um if you've got spots and blemishes you'll need to get come in with a concealer to cover those but it's okay for the price the last product in my summer complexion edit is from bare minerals it's their complexion rescue which is a relatively new product I've got the shade number 10, which is Sienna. The product is a hybrid between makeup and skincare, a bit like the CC cream um, and a bit like the tinted moisturizer. So there's been a lot of Alphabetti Spaghetti products, BB, CC, DD, I think Estee Lauder have an EE cream. Um, hybrid products, they have their place. It's not my preference. I'd rather have skincare doing skincare and makeup being makeup um, but I think it's a trend that we're going to see developing 
um, much more in future months and again for me it's nice to have a product like this that's available in my tone not every brand that makes hybrid products of the BBCC um, ilk make products for deeper skin tones so that's a plus for all of the products that I've shown here the color is weird so this is a product that they suggest that you do your cleanse tone serum and then this goes on on top i don't do that i do moisturizer i do ultra sun first and then this goes on this is the shade that i have to work the most with it looks slightly this ashy is an SPF on my 30, skin. um which might be the reason for the slight weirdness in the in the shade i do add custom cover drops to this which as i've said before will negate the activity of the uh, complexion SPF. rescue it comes in at 26 pounds which again is not cheap um and it's it's a hybrid product so I think if you can find a shade that is the exact match for you then it works really well if the shade is slightly off I would rather spend the 26 pounds on getting some decent skincare and a decent lightweight complexion product um but yeah it's it's an interesting development in skincare there you have it that's my edit of summer complexion products um I think that in the heat there's really no point fighting with yourself to have a completely made up face. It's just not gonna work. I think that evenings are a slightly different matter and this is a really great time of year to really go heavy with the whole bronze glow, um, that kind of, of look. And I think, you know, in the evenings I do go a little bit heavier with my foundation, but in the daytime, as I say, traveling around London on the tube and on public transport, there is no way that I'm gonna be bringing out my um, medium to full complexion coverage products so and it's always great coming to have complexion support. products that are season appropriate so for this heat i would definitely say that moving from a medium to full coverage foundation to a sheerer product be it a bb cream cc cream um a lightweight foundation um or something in between like a hybrid product is a great option i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next video